Dear colleagues, this is a corneal topography assisted cataract surgery. The patient has 1.58 diopter of astigmatism and the steep axis is at 179 degree. This is the corneal topography reading. 1.58 diopter is the astigmatism against the rule. So this is the main incision exactly at 9 o'clock. Temporal incision. This is the right eye of the patient. Now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. Now I am making very small step incisions. In this case, this is one step incision at 7 o'clock and this is another step incision at 12 o'clock. And now, capsulorexis is to be done. I am taking help of this 26 case bent needle to raise a nice, easy to hold capsular tag. I hold this tag with the uterata forceps, go anticlockwise and do a CCC, continuous curvilinear capsulorexis. This is a Rexis of about 5 millimeter size and this is hydro dissection and this is hydro delineation. The cataract is soft, the grade of nuclear sclerosis will be about grade 2 or grade 2 plus. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece. I'm going to use Oatly Catrex 3 FACO machine. And I'm in FACO 2 mode from the very beginning where in this case FACO power is 50%, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 400 millimeter of mercury. So I am just in irrigation and I am I have chopped the nucleus, sliced the nucleus into two halves. When the FECO handpiece was in irrigation, because if I go to aspiration mode, the nuclear material will come off. And the nucleus is managed. And now, I uh, inject viscoelastic substance. Since the side ports are small, I will not be able to use Simco cannula through the side ports. However, by the time my assistants makes the bimanual ready, I can remove lot of cortex. Yes, through the main incision, lot of cortical matter has been removed. And the sub-incisional cortex could not be removed and so I take the bimanual now and remove the sub incisional cortex. I do some hydro polish which means with the irrigating jet of fluid the cells that is sticking to the posterior capsule is dislodged. Now viscoelastic substance is used to fill up the anterior chamber and the capsular bag and now in this case we have selected acris of IQ as the intraocular lens because the patient wanted it. The patient has acris of IQ in the other eye and this is acris of IQ lens. And since the rexis is of adequate size, you can see that the eye veil will be, the optic of the eye veil will be nicely covered by a rim of anterior capsule all around. Some of viscoelastic substance is injected. Now I want to reduce some more existing astigmatism. So what I do is I take a 2.8 millimeter keratome again and make another 
2.8 millimeter incision at 3 o'clock exactly opposite the main incision. I hope this will reduce the existing astigmatism to some more extent. I will follow up this case and keep a track of how much astigmatism is reduced. Now we have taken several measures to do refractive cataract surgery in this case. First we have done a corneal topography and we have found out the steep axis. It is at 179 degree and this is the right eye. So we made the main incision at 9 o'clock and we made very small side ports so that the effect of side port is not much. Now to re reduce the astigmatism to some more extent we have made another 2.8 millimeter incision exactly opposite the main incision at 9 o'clock that is at 3 o'clock we have made another 2.8 millimeter incision. By this time viscoelastic substance has been removed and the dentist chamber was getting shallow so I have used air bubble to keep the anti chamber deep. Amoxifloxacin is injected and I am going to hydrate the side ports. Now why the anti chamber became shallow? It's because the side ports are very small and when you introduce the irrigation aspiration probes through very small incisions there is some amount of stress and as soon as you remove the probes the leakage of fluid BSS is immediate and antechamber becomes shallow. So I have used air bubble and to keep the antechamber formed and I have hydrated the wounds and now this is the final lavage of the antechamber. The antechamber is formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to do refractive cataract surgery. Thank you very much.